What is up, YouTube? This is Profit Day Trader here, and I'm coming at you with part four of our beginner series of Think or Swim by TD Ameritrade. Okay, so the last uh, video I left off, uh, I'm focusing on this trade tab. I'm going to be picking up on this trade tab right here again. Uh, this is going to be the most important uh, tab. I'm going to be coming back to this uh, tab a few times. This is going to be where you're going to be spending most of your time, in, uh, in my opinion. This is where I spend 90% of my time. So I feel like it's the, most, it's the best to go through this very slowly. Uh, I'm going to go through it very detailed. Some stuff you might already know if you're familiar with the program. Some stuff you may not know. Uh, this is going to be geared more towards beginners. Uh, if you're interested in seeing this entire series, I uh, subscribe to this channel, like this video, and I will be uplo uplo uh, uploading these videos a few times a week. So look back frequently. So, okay. So uh, last video, I was just kind of just showing the buttons, what they look like, uh, what they did, um, when you click on them, what happens and stuff like that. But now I'm going to be diving in a little more deeply into what all this stuff means and what the kind of like some of the settings and stuff like that to go to start. Before you start trading, you want to set everything up the way you like it first. This way, the clearer, the, the more it makes sense to you, the, the better your trades are going to be. So I want to start with this section right here. Now, this is the most important section you're going to have. So this is where you actually do all your trading. Well, I'll include this as well. So this is where you're going to do your trading as well. But for the most part, most people are going to be using this. To, to start out now if you look at this this says buy market sell market i know if, if you hover over it, it comes up full uh buy market sell market now a market order is pretty much just telling the program that you want to buy the stock as soon as possible it doesn't matter what the price is the price will usually be uh this around around the the ask price not the bid price the bid price is usually for limit orders it's going to be you're going to be buying it at this ask price here so if i hit this button right here right now the stock market is, is closed i wanted to show you why it's closed because it's a little easier than it just bouncing all over the place and it's already confusing i'd rather it be still this way you can i can really explain it so right now if i, if I want to buy one share of gamestop so let's see i'm gonna come over here i'm gonna type in one now it's not going to go through because the stock, stock market is closed but if i wanted to to, if I was like, okay, I want to buy one share. Right now, each share is fifty-two dollars and forty cents. This is a well, actually, this isn't correct. We're gonna go over here. So right now, the ask price for this is fifty-two ninety-two. Now, if you look at this here, that represents this right here. So fifty-two ninety-two. So right now, you can see that. See how this red? Somebody is selling this at fifty-two ninety-two. Well, somebody wants to buy this at fifty-two eighty-two. Now, the the this is in between this price and this price is called the spread. So that's what's going to be considered the spread. Now, usually it isn't this big. It just looks like this because the stock market is off. Some stocks are, but for the most part, it's a little closer than this. But pretty much when you buy at this market price, some people think you're buying this. When you buy a market price, you're actually buying this. You're buying at the highest sell price. So if you go to, if I go hit this button right here, again, it's not going to go through because it's closed, but I'd be buying this at 52.92, not 52.82. Now, I may, it, it, in one share, it's not a huge difference, 10 cents. But when you're buying 1,000 shares, you know, that's, that's a $100 difference. So you could be losing 100 bucks, not even realizing. You, you, before you even bought this, you lost 100 bucks. So it's very, very important to understand that a market order buys at this price, at, at the ask price, not at the, the, the bid price. Now, at the sell market, it's the opposite problem. So you lose on both ends. So it's actually, this is called a spread. This is where... The market makers make all their money so i know that if you don't understand what that means don't worry it's not too important it's more a little more advanced but so again so i go let's just we'll go through like a pretend so i, I say i want to buy one stock gamestop okay perfect comes up c confirm well actually not buy it i'm just going to say typically this would come up it's a confirmation it's telling you your totals uh it's telling you what you have in the bank and stuff like that you would hit send it's not going to go through because it's closed so I'm gonna shut this off here. I'm gonna get rid of this order. Um, so this, I would I would actually buy the stock at this price here, 52.92. Well, say the price you know went up 10 cents, and I go to sell sell at market. Now the good thing about market, you'll sell it right away. But I'll actually sell it at 52.92. Like say this move, say this this uh, bid order went up all the way up to here. Well, technically, I'm actually not making any money because of the spread. So you have to be careful with market orders. You have to be very aware of, of if you're going to do the market order, which I do suggest for day trading because limit orders are very hard to fill sometimes uh, in day trading. But if you're going to do a buy, if you're going to do a, a buy market order, 
just understand that you're losing that spread. So the, the price would have to actually go past what you bought it for so you can start making money. So if you if you bought it here, then the price moves up to here, you're 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 even now. The price would actually have to go up to here to start making some money. So just understand that market is it's guaranteed fills. You will guarantee get the order, but you you are losing a little bit of money in the process for the convenience of buying the shares you want immediately. So that's where the market order comes in. Now there's a second way to buy stocks. And if you look, if you see why I'm hovering over this, there's a thing to the left says buy plus one limit. Now the limit order is telling the, the program, I'm going to buy just one stock, but I only want to buy it at 52.75. Let's just say it's just for random. 52.75 and hit send. So it won't, this now right now, the, the bid price is at 52.82. So this would be, you know, if this price would have to come all the way down, not this one. This one has to come all on the ass size, on the ass side. This would have to come all the way down to 52.75, and then the seller would be selling into your limit order. So this is the reason why limit order is a little bit harder. You're guaranteed your price, and this is good if you're once you get more advanced, you really know the way the stock is going to move. So it's good that to, to put the limit orders in when you're when you're really sure of okay, let's say like okay, this is it's gonna it's gonna it's not gonna drop any lower than this bar right here the end of it the bottom of this candlestick so I'm very confident that I can you know I can I can buy it at that price at the bottom it's not gonna go any lower so it'll come up it just cancel out because I uh, didn't send so I'm gonna say okay I know this isn't gonna come down here so the limit order is good to put in when you're confident that that price is the support level now, again if these terms are confusing you don't worry it, it, you know I'm not sure what level you're watching this video at but if these terms are confusing, don't worry. It just takes repetition. It takes getting familiar with the terminology to start understanding this. But again, understand that limit order guarantees your price, but doesn't guarantee your fill. So if I was trying to buy 200 of the stock, and I said, okay, I want 200 stock at $52. Get rid of this. 200 stock at $52.80. Well, the price might come down and bounce at $52.80 for a couple seconds, not, not even a half a second maybe, and then go back up. I might not get 200 shares. They it might only fill 50 shares, 75 shares, 79 shares. So understand that this, when you do limit orders, you're it's it's mo you're most likely to get it, but you're not guaranteed to get all the shares. So again, if this is confusing, you know, don't worry. It's just going to take repetition to get through it. But just understand that market order buys immediately. You're guaranteed your fill. You'll you'll, you'll guaranteed get your your shares, but you're going to be buying it at a higher price. If you want to buy it at a limit price. You're guaranteeing your price. I don't want to say guarantee because it does slip a little bit, but you're not guaranteed your shares. So there's a there's a balance between do I want to, am I worried about saving the, the the pennies per share or am I worried about getting my shares because I think it's going to go up or go down. So understand if you want to place an order, these are your buttons here. So it's this button, this button, and then there's there's you can actually click inside of inside of these uh, red and and green columns here. So this is your limit orders and these are your market orders. Okay, now if you look at these buttons here, this is if you want to cancel an order. So I want to do a pretend one. Do one here. So okay, I want to buy it at 52.85. Sit send. Now you notice that the cancel button it, it showed up. So now we're like, you know what? I don't like it. I don't like the stocks look like it's reversing. I'm not sure what's what's gonna happen. I don't feel confident anymore. I want to cancel my order. So we cancel all. Yes. And now it went away. So that's what the cancel button is. Reverse, I wouldn't worry about too much. Reverse is going from a long to short position. Again, if you're not familiar with those terms, um, that's more a little more, you know, a little more advanced. I wouldn't worry about the reverse too much. And flatten is pretty much just get rid of your orders right away. It's it's, a, it's pretty much a market order that it it doesn't worry about your quantity here. It worries about how many stocks what how, how many the quantity of stocks that you have so if this is 200 but you have 400 shares it'll actually sell 400 so flatten just gets rid of everything quickly okay now there's more that you can add to this so there's this little configure button so let's click on this configure button now there's a lot of stuff here um i don't think really any of these are really going to be super relevant um, I, I do use a couple of these but again i don't think you're going to really need it they have the good ones over here I'm trying to think of, I, I think I, sometimes I use the position indicator. Uh, I'm not sure. You might want to, uh, instead of cancel, cause you gotta go through that confirmation, you might do a cancel all. Uh, 
buy bid buy ask that those could be uh, useful um, I'll just put these in just to so when you go over here this is the available buttons these are the buttons that are right here this are these are the buttons that you can add to this bar here so you'll notice once I right now I'm gonna move this buy bid over here it came down over here so buy bid came up and then we hit OK and they're gonna see buttons pop up everywhere so see how these buttons popped up so buying the ask is see how look when you when you hover over this see how this little green thing comes up over here it's it's telling you to buy at the ask remember this is the ask price that's the ask price right here the a is for this and the, and the bid is for this price right here so when it's over here so if i say buy at the ask it's going to buy this is almost like a market order you're going to most likely get filled pretty quickly and or you can do join the bid so they're saying buy at the bid price which is this price here so these buttons are these buttons can be pretty useful i i stay away from the i usually just buy at market sell at market because it's guaranteed it's it's very easy to control so these buttons are um, they are useful but I don't, I don't think they're super necessary um the positions this shows you how many shares you have of the stock uh it shows you here as well so you don't necessarily need this but if you just want to make doubly sure you can have this as well the cancel all button is good if you buy this let's just say you want to put in a limit order and you're like uh oh. and and you also have a sell order in as well so you're just going crazy that uh, won't work okay stock's closed so it's a little different but you say okay cancel all button confirm okay got rid of your order so that's what this is uh these are quick buttons here just to change quantity that's very simple so you can actually customize these not 100 you can you can change it a little bit um i'll show you later on where you can change these these are in this setup button here there's a lot into this setup area here so we're going to save that for another video uh template this uh i wouldn't worry about too much uh i'm not even honestly i'm not even sure what this is uh so i'm gonna stay away from this because i'm not even sure what this is um you know, i'm gonna go back and add another button here so go here uh it's not i think it is okay so tif we're gonna add the tif button it's not gonna be important for beginner traders but this will be important i use this one here uh so this is gonna be an important button later on so i suggest adding this button here and we'll, we'll go over this at another day what these buttons mean so yeah so these are your buttons here and this is this is where you're going to perform all your trades this is actually how you buy the stock so this is going to be your bread and butter here this is where you're going to keep all your stuff so this is very, very if you're going to learn anything in this program you learn this whole page you're going to learn I would, I would recommend learning this through all the way through we'll learn it as best you can because this is going to be where you're making all your money or you could lose all your money if you don't know what you're doing so I highly, highly suggest to just go through this very slowly, carefully, and learn this. Okay, so now we're going to go through this line. So this is your buys and sells. So this is going to show your total quantity, not just of open, of everything that you did that day. So if you bought 200, if you bought 200 shares, sold it, bought it, sold it, bought it, you did that five times, it's going to show you 1,000 shares bought, 1,000 shares sold. So this just shows you the total for today. This is going to show you the total amount of shares you have open. This is going to show you the average price of your stock. So let's say you bought it at, let's just say you bought it at $53. Uh, all of a sudden the stock goes down. You, you bought another 200 at, uh, let's say, 5280. Let's just say you bought another 200 at 5280. Well, it's going to show you an average price now of 52, it'll be 5290. So it's just showing you the average price of all your shares together. These are the ones, and again, I'll go, I'll actually do a, a live trade. Uh, in a future video i'll just do some small shares to show this these actively work and probably get a little better perspective of when it's actually moving but um so that just shows you the average price the p l is the profit and loss of your your trade you're doing right now so these are very important these are get you, this is what gets you the anxiety this is what gets you going right here so if i bought a stock it went it went up five cents it'll tell you how much money you're going to make if you sell it right now and how much money you made on the stock for the entire day so that's this this is again this is very very important and there's more settings here i wouldn't worry too much about the customizing this just yet i'm not i don't think i ever really uh yeah you don't really need this is fine you don't really need to worry about it. they give you they give you the important ones here okay so that's a general it's not super super deep into this but this is a general consensus consensus um i'm going to go through this again very more detail when i am live trading i'll show you a live trade and show you everything working so you get a better idea Okay, so uh, we're going to go through this left side. Now, there's a lot going on here. Now, if you're not familiar with stock terminology, um, don't worry. It's 
there is a lot to learn, but as far as basics, um, it's going to be hard to teach everything through this. I'm trying to show more of the program on this side. I'm going to be starting another channel, a beginner series, a day trading class uh, for beginners, uh, teaching you stock terminology. So this is something that I'm going to be going through more detail. So if you're not familiar with the terminology, don't worry yet. I can, I'm going to be uploading other videos so you can learn, look, you know, study those and learn the terminology. So this is your actual chart. Now there's, this is the most common uh, chart patterns. This is, these are called candlesticks. I'm going to, this, I'm going to go back further so it's a little more clear. So right now, this is candlesticks. These show, I have it set at a one minute chart. So each one of these bars represent one minute of action in the stock market. So this shows from one minute in the stock what the price was. So if you look at the top here, it'll show you the high, low, and uh, it's pretty much the, the most you need to know. So the high in this minute was 51.53, the low was 51.26. So this had a, it, it moved up and down 27 cents within this stock chart here. So these are just showing price actions for every single minute of the stock throughout the entire day. Now the stock market is open from 9.30 Eastern time to 4 p.m. Uh, Eastern time, 9.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. So again, this is very important because this is where as day traders, we can try to put in our favor the odds to try to make money. So if we look at here, we're like, oh, I mean, you know, this kind of, I'm, I'm, this isn't anything, uh, I'm just kind of just making something up here. But we kind of look at it and say, oh, you know what? I feel this is going to go up. It has a, it looks like it's going to, a couple bad bars. Again, this isn't real stock advice, so don't take this as real advice. But just give you an idea of, okay, this is where the patterns start coming. This is what we're called, you know, pattern day traders. We, we look at this, we look at the patterns, and we go, okay, I want to invest now if it's going to go up. Now, nobody knows. We're just putting the odds in our favor. This could very easily have kept going down. So, Nobody knows for sure. If they do, they're lying to you. Nobody knows 100%. You're just putting the odds in your favor. That's all you can do. So this is very important. Learning these charts is very important. And there's a lot of information to go over. There's a lot of information to learn. But again, it's going to take our time. I'd rather you, I'd rather go slow and you really understand this than to speed through it. Because I understand it, but I don't want, I, the whole goal is to teach you, not to just know it myself. It's pointless. That's the whole point. I'm trying to teach people who, how to understand these charts. So... All right, <laughs> so there's a lot to go over. So I'm trying to think of the best way to start this. So again, this is just a certain, uh, candlesticks is the most popular uh, chart pattern. You may not be familiar with this style. Uh, let's see. So most people are probably see stocks like this. Now, this is not good for day trading. This doesn't really show much information. You can't really tell. You could tell where the price ended up, but it's just, it's just, again, it's not enough information as a day trader to start making money off this. So this is probably what you're familiar uh, seeing if you're looking at like something on Yahoo Finance or something similar like that. But as far as day trading, uh, there there is two styles that I do recommend. Um, I suggest that you learn on the, the candlesticks because this is uh, what everybody uses nowadays for the most part. Bar, uh, bar charts are good still they're still relevant but they're not aesthetically pleasing as much they're i think they're a little more confusing if you look at this 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 just doesn't have it it it, it does work well i know people that use this and they make a lot of money off this uh it's relatively the same as the candles the candlesticks but it's not as aesthetically pleasing this just has a little more you can just see it's a little more easy to read so um again i'll be going over what all this stuff means so if you're not sure what this means don't worry but this is very important to learn so this is where you're going to start predicting of, okay, is the price going to go up or is the price going to go down? This is where you're going to start making your money. So, all right. So we're looking at the top left-hand corner here. You may see these three little letters. Now, this is called a ticker symbol. Now, a ticker symbol is just an abbreviation of the stock name for the stock exchange to find it. So right now, G, uh, GME is GameStop on the stock exchange. So instead of sitting here and putting in GameStop, you know, they, they, everything's just abbreviated to make it a little easier. Now, you don't have to look it up that way. You don't have to know every ticker symbol. So if I was like, okay, I don't know Apple's ticker symbol, but I'm just gonna start typing in Apple. It'll show you here. So okay, okay, Apple Incorporated, A A P L. Okay, so that's their ticker symbol. So don't be afraid. If you don't know it, you can just type it in. It has like a smart search. So this is how you actually change the stock here. So when I come in here, okay, let's go to Tesla. Okay, T S L A. Okay, this is Tesla. Now we're gonna be trading. Be careful because this is where 
whatever you type in here, whatever shows up, whatever's shown up in this corner here is what you're trading. So be mindful of it. Don't, don't get confused. I've done it before where I thought I was on one stock and I'm actually trading a different stock and it can be a lot more expensive. So be, be careful. So this is, but whatever you type in here is the stock you're, you're going to be trading. So if you want to type in, go back to GameStop, you can type it in and then hit the enter button. And now it changes the stock and it changes everything. It changes the prices. It changes the news. So this is where you're actually going to type in the actual stock. Don't worry about this just yet. This is more for multiple monitors. Uh, if you do have multiple monitors, I'll go over a video with that. But for right now, this isn't going to be super important. This is this is links up different monitors to different stocks. This gets a little more uh, advanced, a little more detailed. Uh, this is the stock name. This is the the current uh, price. This doesn't really reflect the real price here because it's it's uh, closed right now. But uh, if you see right now, the bid and the ask is the actual price. There's two prices usually for every stock. So. Uh, right here, it's showing you how much money it's it's up today. So right today, it's green. It was a dollar thirty. Not today specifically. Today it's closed, but it was up uh, on Friday, a dollar thirty, and that equated to two point five four percent stock gain. So this just shows you what's what's it's moving today. Again, this is the bid, this is the ask price. So this is what somebody's buying it for. This is what somebody's selling it for. The bid is what somebody's willing to pay. The ask is what somebody's willing to sell for. This right here is uh, for shorting stocks. This is gonna be, right now it says hard to borrow. If that doesn't make sense, uh, it's not supposed to if you're a beginner. Uh, hard to borrow means there's not many shares to uh, to short. So again, don't worry about this just too yet. And this is a position. So this is when you trade, this will come up as, depending on how many shares you have, it'll come up here. Now, I focus just on the stock exchange. I focus just on equity market. I don't do a foreign exchange. I don't know anything about foreign exchange. I don't know. I don't do anything with futures, and I don't even. I'm not sure what Pair Traders is. I just work off Active Trader is the main page for me. Uh, if you're interested in forex and futures, I'm sure, there's a lot of great YouTubers out there. I'm sure that go over this. Uh, be careful because a lot of scam artists out there. This is a very unfortunately there's a lot of scam artists in this business that are trying to make money off you. So please, please be careful. But uh, in this, in this, these uh, sub tabs here of the trade. So if, if you click on the trade tab, these are the sub tabs. You want to make sure you're always on Active Trader. This is uh, the securities uh, tabs. Again, if you're not familiar, uh, again, we'll get through it all, so don't worry. But uh, for right now, uh, just understand that you want to be on this Active Trader at all times. This is how you trade stocks. So, yeah, that's this line here. Uh, these are the more detailed settings. Again, I'm going to go through this in another video because this can get pretty crazy. So, this is where it's very, very customizable. It's very good to learn this. And I will be going over this slowly. I'm going to go through these menus very slowly. I don't want to rush through this. I don't, make, I don't want to make this video too, too long. So I'll be going over this in another video. Um, but yeah, these are all different settings that, that affect this chart right here. So everything you do in here is going to affect what goes on in here. So I want to make sure we go give this set of trade tabs. going to be a couple of videos because it's very important. So again, uh, as far as the fundamentals, I'm not going to be able to teach you the fundamentals in this video. It's, it's a lot to go over. The, understand that this is going to be something that's going to take a long time to learn. Uh, anybody who's telling you that's going to be quick, it's fast, easy, uh, they're trying to scam you. They're trying to usually sell you a course or they're trying to mislead you. They're playing on your emotions. The stock market, it takes a very long time. I, the stock market is amazing. Becoming a day trader is going to be one of the hardest things you ever do. Uh, even if it's part-time, uh, you have to learn it as if you're a full-time trader. There's no part-time knowledge that you can learn you have to learn this 100 percent, even if you want to do it full-time so please take your time don't be discouraged um this is something it, it's stock market is one of those businesses that people feel like they're going to come in and make a bunch of money right away i'm not saying you can't make money right away but you're not going to make significant money right away it takes a long time just like anything else so please 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 be patient again i'm going to be going over uh this is this is going to be it for today again i'm going to go through this very slowly i'm sorry if anybody's a little more advanced watching this i know it can be painstakingly slow but this is for the beginner trader i want them to learn this not be scared of this but um i'm gonna be having a whole series in this i'm gonna be making a bunch of videos you can come back to and watch so please subscribe to this channel uh we'll be posting videos weekly daily even if it if i have the time i'm gonna try as much try as much as i can to upload as much as possible so again my advice to you guys is don't be scared of this. This is an amazing business. This business changed my life. It really has. 
I was able to quit my job doing this. I'm not saying it's easy. I'm not saying that's typical, but I was able to do it. It took a long, long time. I've been studying this for thousands of hours. I have a lot of bad days, a lot of amazing days. It's an it's a amazing journey, but it, it was worth every second of it. And just going it with the mindset of, I'm gonna. If, it, if you don't know everything today, you're not supposed to. If, if you if you knew everything today, it, it would be easy. Everybody would be doing it. You're trying to set yourself apart from everybody else. You're trying to do what the 90% can't do. So understand, it's going to take a lot more effort, a lot more patience to learn this. But so, again, if you're interested in this, I'm really trying to build this community. I'm really trying to help people. Uh, so many people have helped me. I just want to give give back, and I want to learn as, as much as teach. So if you're interested, subscribe to this channel, like this video, uh, look out for more videos coming up. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you so much for your time and I'll see you guys in the next one.